I recently had the opportunity to test out a new application from the UK-based company Acrossair called Nearest Subway. This application uses augmented reality and the power of GPS to help its users find the subways closest to them. After taking it out for a test run in the streets of New York City, I found it to be quite helpful and just plain cool. So I sat down with Chet Damani, the managing director of Acrossair via Skype, to find out more about how this application was developed. Hi Chet, how are you? Hello, I'm doing good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So I saw your video on YouTube about your new application, Near Subway. What exactly is the Near Subway application? So the augmented reality application, um, nearest tube, basically shows you exactly where the nearest tube is for a particular line based on your particular location. And it displays it in a 3D view. So you just have to put your phone up and it will show you exactly which direction you should be walking to. Rather than having to look at any map, it will just point you in the right direction. What programming languages are you using or what other um, pieces of equipment are you using for the development of the software? So we're using the standard Objective-C um, Xcode interface that comes with the um, iPhone and the iPhone development environment. But we're also utilizing OpenGL and OpenGL 2, which has been released with the iPhone 3.0 and the iPhone 3GS. OpenGL, just to describe it a bit, is um, a, something called an open graphics library. And, it, and it's what's been used in all gaming that you see out there. Any 3D game that you see has been rendered using some sort of OpenGL format. And using OpenGL to lay the data out has enabled us to create an application whereby if you're moving your iPhone really rapidly across the environment, you can see the data moving just as rapidly behind it rather than having the user to move, you know, move the iPhone, wait a couple of seconds, let it process stuff and show the data. So the biggest discovery is the fact that we've been able to use OpenGL in this particular manner. Since something like this has never been done with phones, what was one of the main issues you encountered while developing the product? The biggest challenges that we've been facing is that the GPS is only accurate to about 20, 30 feet. So we get a lot of requirements, people saying that, you know, can I actually locate within the store where a jeans section is? And but you can't really do that because we can, we can locate where your store is, but we can't narrow it down to anything narrower than the 20, 30 feet. So that, that's, I think, the biggest challenge to the whole augmented reality space. But I think there's going to be others integrating the whole RFID tags, which sits on any particular object or on any individual, and it broadcasts a radio frequency telling the user or telling a computer where it is and what it is which allows us to be more accurate to one meter um, with the iPhone will probably be working in those sort of areas. So I think that, that that RFID tagging is going to be quite cool for augmented reality. Thank you very much for speaking with me today. All right, thanks a lot. I can't wait to see more things from you guys. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.